Hi kids, it's Ms. Patty from Wakanda Area Library with Take and Make Crafts. It is my favorite season, time to make all the ornaments and be very festive at home. So at the Library for Take and Makes, we are gonna have ornaments from December 6th all the way to December 19th. A little bit of a craft -a palooza There's gonna be a lot of different ornaments, so come in numerous times. Uh, we have a lot of different oriental ornaments and then we have some that I've crafted myself and made videos for. This is an oriental ornament and it does come with instructions. Sometimes they can be a little confusing, so I thought it would be fun if we can make this one together. That way, parents, you can put on the video and let the kids follow along. Everything you need is in the bag. No scissors, no glue are needed. So let's open this up and I'm gonna show you the best way to assemble this. So first you want your green stocking. Let's put this here. Pop the little hole out right on top for the string. And the first thing you wanna do is let's peel off the backing for the snowman face. And we have our stocking and you have four pipe cleaners here. You have two long and two short. So the long piece is for the arm and then this little one you're gonna twist tie on and it's gonna make it look like the hand. So take the long piece, make a T and just push this down and twist it once on the back and you're gonna spread it out and see now you have a little snowman hand so there's one let's do that again on the other side take it bend it back twist and then now bend the arms like you like these arms need to be made first so that way you don't need to use any extra glue. Take the backing off of your stocking and now all you have to do is center it. It goes a little bit over the chin of the face. Have those arms right in there. So let's press that on really good. Look at that. Now all you have to do is, let's put the nose on. this way, right, put that little carrot nose. You have a little squiggly line. Let's peel that off. Okay, this one goes slow so you don't tear it. This goes right on top of the stocking, like that. So I'll just press that down. I love that there's no glue. Let me show you the easiest way to do the tie. But honestly, this is just what I prefer Fold it in half. You're gonna make a knot. Tie it real tight so it doesn't come undone. And then I already poked this out. So the knot is at top. Take this, come up through the back. And fold this through. Don't pull too tight, you don't wanna rip the top. That's it. Wouldn't this look great on top of a gift? You can write a name on there with Sharpie, to from, and it could be a gift tag. Of course, it can be a gift to a teacher. I'm sure they would love it. A little addition, you can add it on top of a little lotion bottles, tape it to a gift bag, or just, of course, Hang it on your own tree at home, which is what I'm gonna do. So make sure you stop in the library to get this little cutie. We have lots of others. We have snowflakes. I have ornaments. So stop in or call at the library and see what we have our featuring for ornaments this week. Remember, it's from the 6th through the 19th. Then we're gonna be doing some card making. So tune in for some more videos. And I just wanna give you a little reminder. 
that January 2nd through January 8th, we are going to be having virtual didgeridoo down under. This is an all ages virtual concert. It's a high energy Australian themed show that combines music, culture, puppetry, comedy, character building, storytelling, and audience participation. Didgeridoo has been played for over 1500 years. It's a musical instrument that has an amazing sound, but Didgeridoo Down Under is much more than music. It's gonna be an interactive, educational, motivational, super fun for all ages. So tune in with the family. Everybody's gonna be tired after New Year's Day. So again, this is January 2nd through January 8th. You can tune in on our website as many times as you like to learn about Aussie culture, animals, right? Everybody loves the animals down under, and the kids can move and groove to the pulsing rhythm of the didgeridoo. So please call us at the library if you have any questions. Just like the Take and Make, you do not need to sign up. It's open for everyone. Hope to see you soon at the library. Bye for now.